For anyone who has a cat, it's hard not to fall in love with them once your bond has been established. Cats are loving, have the ability to read our emotions and make us feel special with their desire to be near us whenever we are around. They say that dogs are a man's best friend, but cats, can be the perfect best friend for just about anyone if you let them into your heart. You are constantly taking pictures with your cat. It's one thing to take a few photos of your cat, but if you find yourself scrolling through your camera roll with dozens of pictures of them, or using Snapchat filters to make their face look funny, this probably means you really adore them. But who wouldn't? The positions they sleep in are hilarious, whether they are all stretched out with their paws in the air or nestled on top of your coat. You can't stay mad at them no matter how hard you try. It's hard to stay mad at your best friend, let alone a cute furball with whiskers. At the end of the day, you forgive and forget. No matter what my cats do, there is no possible way I can stay mad at them. I will find them knocking things off the counter with their paw, trying to eat butter on the table, or even scratching me after trying to pet them, never go for the belly first. I have gotten multiple injuries from them and probably even a permanent scar or two, but I never yell at them or freak out. After all, they probably didn't mean to, right? You vent to them about your problems. Sometimes the perfect person to vent to is not even a person at all but rather a small, furry animal that spends half the day snoozing. Think about it. Cats listen to you, or so you think they do, they don't judge slash disagree with you, mainly because they don't know what you're talking about, and they make you feel better by just looking at them, they're so cute and warm. They also don't care, which saves one of your friends from suffering through all your rambling. You love hanging out with them. After a long day of school or work, the only thing you want to do is relax at home, sit on the couch, and watch some Netflix. Preferably with a cat purring atop your chest. They will probably sleep most of the time, but I swear my cat watches once in a while. Another thing you might enjoy is watching them play with their favorite toy or using a laser pointer to make things interesting. If something is wrong, you can tell right away. When something is off with your best friend, oftentimes, you can tell instantly. If you are like that with cats, you can probably notice things like abnormal behavior or a sign of an illness slash infection. This is a really wonderful skill to have because it could, in fact, save your cat's life one day. They cheer you up. A best friend is always there to cheer you up no matter what, maybe your cat decides to come and curl up on your lap or rub up against you. These are signs that your cat loves you, and how could you not feel better after knowing your cat cares about you and loves you unconditionally? Cats always keep us entertained. Quirky and undeniably adorable, the funny things that cats do keeps us on our toes and sometimes even laughing out loud. Cats can find the most trivial item to be amusing, as you know, and provide themselves with endless entertainment from the simplest of things. Cardboard boxes, string, shoelaces, the list continues of all the things cats will amuse themselves with that will have us cracking up while watching them play. Just don't give your cat BFF any toilet paper, unless you want it shredded all over the floor as a result. You get sad when you're away from them for too long. Whenever I leave for a trip, even if it's just a few days, I always end up missing my cats. Are they okay? Do they have enough food and water? Are they confused about why I'm not there? Those are some of the thoughts that cross my mind while I'm away and may cross yours too. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. You can't stand the thought of losing them. One upsetting thing about having your cat as your best friend is that one day they won't be there anymore. You'll come home one day and long for their presence, but unfortunately, that wish will never be fulfilled. You could adopt another cat from the animal shelter, but will any of them fill the gap? If you don't have much of an emotional bond with your cat, chances are you two probably aren't best friends. But if you do, Thinking about this topic might make a tear slowly run down your cheek. You might even go give your cat a big hug. You respect them. Sometimes people will do the most idiotic things to cats, such as pulling on their tail or holding them upside down which somehow translates as fun. Little do they know that they are torturing the poor creature. How would you feel if someone was yanking on your tail, you know, if you had one, or holding you upside down while all the blood rushes to your head? You'd probably get pretty angry. Your cat will definitely not want to be your friend if you do any of those things. But you're sure to get bit and hissed at. If your cat is your best friend, you definitely respect them. After all, you don't want your cat to hate you. You talk to your cat like you would a person. They may not be the best conversationalist themselves, but they know you are. 
If you find yourself asking your cat random questions or commenting to them about something like the weather, this could be a sign your cat is your best friend. Are cats a woman's best friend? The researchers closely followed nearly every interaction between 41 cats and their human families over a lengthy period. What they found was that both the cats and their guardians responded to the other's desire to interact, in everything from petting to being held to playing games. The study took the old concept that a cat's behavior toward humans was based solely on the animal's desire for food and stood it squarely on its head. What the researchers observed was true mutual social attachment, i, e, love, as well as a return of affection by cats who were previously shown affection by their guardians. The humans and the cats were observed to have direct influence over each other's behavior. The study showed that the dynamics underlying the relationship between mutually adoring cats and their humans are nearly identical to human-to-human -human bonds. So once it's established that humans and cats form special social bonds with each other, how do we explain the fact that most cats prefer to interact more with women than men? Cat-loving men, take heart. Thanks to this study, we may finally have the answer. The observed cats repeatedly returned affection to the human who had previously shown affection toward the cat, and that human was female most of the time. The corollary to that observation would be that if the human who interacted most with the cat were a man, the cat would return the affection to the man. Choose the cat that's best for you. Do your research first, and then choose your cat from a reputable breeder, shelter, or rescue group. Things to keep in mind while looking into adoption are. Kitten or an adult? Kittens are able to adapt quickly to their surroundings but will need house training and much more attention than an adult cat. An older cat might be a wise choice if you have a strict work schedule and don't have time to fully care for a kitten. On the other hand, an older cat may have health problems, which will require more visits to the vet. Shedding concerns. Some cats shed more than others. For example, an American bobtail or Kimrick cat will shed much more than a Siamese cat. Health concerns. A healthy kitten or cat will have bright eyes and a shiny fur coat. Cats that appear thin or overweight or have a nasal discharge may have health problems. Personality and disposition. Just like people, cats can vary in their personality and character traits. Look for one that seems to be a good fit with you and your lifestyle. If you're hoping for lots of petting and stroking, for example, you may want to look for a cat that actively seeks attention from its handlers, rather than one that hisses or scratches. If you think you've found the right cat, try to make more than one visit with the animal if that's possible. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.